So just behind me, we're at the beach right now, uh, at the Azul Beach Resort in Riviera Cancun. It's lunchtime now. So this is pretty cool. They do a barbecue every day here on the beach. If you've ever seen my other video, check it out, where I do a full review of this resort. It's a nice resort. It's got its shortcomings, but it's a nice resort. If this is the first resort you've ever attended, then you're probably not gonna notice the shortcomings, but if you've been to other ones that are a little bit fancier, then you'll see what I'm talking about. But check out my video for a full review on it. But let's go check out what's going on for lunch. Lunch is neat. Come to the back of the resort. Go down here. And they've got a full spread and they're barbecuing. They got all these little tables out here. All right, and if you come down here, You've got a self-serve, do-it-yourself kind of thing. You get nachos and chili and cheese and sausages and burgers and fries and rice and potatoes. And they have fresh guac and all sorts of little desserts and pastries for the kids. Ice cream. And then let's come back around here. And they've got full barbecue going. And every day is a different motif. They usually have steaks and chicken regardless. We got burgers going, sausages, really like top-notch stuff too, like it's absolutely delicious. Food is not one of the shortcomings here. Food is amazing here, in my opinion. You got these really cool logs here that are hollowed out. And you have all your fixings here and condiments, whatever. And you have another log hollowed out. And here they've got all sorts of alcoholic beverages and really, really cool setup. As you're eating, if you got little toddlers, kids can just jump on top of this little play swing set kind of thing and slide. And if you notice, I mean, the sand is really, really clean and soft. You got your boat rentals for the day. This is pretty neat. Little activities for the kids that can paint shells and whatnot. And here we are, we're out in the ocean. Not a bad way to spend the afternoon. Every now and then they'll open that dock up out there. It's pretty neat, some chairs out there and whatnot, and you get to be on the ocean, get a nice view of the back of the campus here. I know the water doesn't look it, but it actually is pretty clean. It just, everything's being churned up by the waves or whatever. But once you get out there about 15 feet, there's schools of fish and they all kind of dance and swim around you. It's pretty wild. Let's make our way down here. And you can see out in the distance, they're constantly manicuring the uh, the shore here so there's no we're trying to keep up with the seaweed seaweeds right now we're in August middle of August to be exact so the seaweed issue here is not that bad if you ever come down here uh, around June or July there'll be mounds of seaweed you know that high I mean just absolutely high so these guys are on top of it and they just run these tractors back and forth Doing what they could do. Nice bar here with some swings for the adults. Oops. Some of the sand is kind of loose, so it's a little tricky to get your footing sometimes. And that's it. That's what the lunch life is like over here. And you got all the restaurants and whatnot you can go to. But to be brutally honest, the food for the lunch here at the barbecue has been top notch. It's so hard. Every day we go, oh, let's try something different. And then, like, you think about yesterday's lunch, ah, let's go back to the barbecue. So. The food is just so good. And that's it. Pretty cool. Let me know if you have any questions.